string interpolation using which you can now directly write your arguments instead of referring them with placeholders inside of a string. You can also do whatever you would have done previously with the string.format function. This is so great because now you can forget using placeholders in strings to replace them with real values. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this new feature of C Sharp 6 interpolation. So I'm going to go right here, and as you can see, I have commented string interpolation. I'm going to do an implementation with C Sharp 5 and below string placeholders. And then down here, I'm going to show you the C Sharp 6 string interpolation. So I'm going to create two variables, which are strings. It's going to be string first, and I'm going to set it to some value. Let's put it my first. And then the second one, I'm going to create a variable here. I'm going to say string second equals my second. And this is all running from that method I had previously. I just want to show you that this is where we're going to implement this. We're not actually going to implement this my first static. I just want to show you that this is how you would utilize interpolation. So right here, I have string first and string second. In C sharp 5 and below, you would typically do something like this. We're going to just do the right line because we've created it with the static. And then what you would do, open and closing parentheses, we're going to put our quotes right there. You'd put your little brackets here to say the position. And then we're going to say 0 is my first value. And then you would have after that second, second is my second value. And the zero and the one associated in this sentence are going to be associated with the different values we want to put inside of the right line. So right now we can pass our arguments. So for the zero parameter or the zero point here inside of the parentheses, I want to put first. And then for the second argument associated with one, I want to put second. And this is passing the variables that I created previously right here. Then I'm going to close it out with my semicolon. And as you can see, what this is going to read out, it says my first associated with the first variable is my first value. And then it's going to read out the second variable associated with the one index. My second is my second value. And then we're passing the object parameters associated with the method with the first variable associated with the string and the second variable associated with the string. So this is typically how you would associate this is typically how you would utilize placeholders with variables implementing the system.console right line method. But now with C sharp 6, this is how we can implement it. We can use that same right line method. We can come in here and we can put a dollar sign here and then we can put our parentheses. And inside of that, we can directly inject those variables, their naming conventions. So right here, we're going to put the first one is first and it gives you IntelliSense to associate with that. And then we can just type is my first value. And then I'm going to put my period. And then I can do the same thing I did with the first variable. I can put the parentheses here. And then I can put second. And it gives you that IntelliSense, which is very nice in Visual Studio. Is my second value. And then we can close this out with our semicolon. Now look how much more simpler this is. You have it where you can implement your variable naming conventions inside of your right line method on the system.console. Instead of having to pass the different variable parameters to the method, now you can directly inject the naming conventions associated inside of your parentheses instead of having to associate what index and what parameter is passed associated with the naming convention. Now this is not a huge drastic change in C Sharp 6, but it does save you some time to associate the direct names of your variables directly into one sentence. It allows less code to be written associated inside of the right line method. So this is very nice to have in C Sharp 6. In previous versions of C Sharp, we've had to implement it with parameters associated inside of the console right line method. Anytime you want to inject a string, you can associate with this just by placing the dollar sign in front of the string and then passing inside of the curly brackets the associated variable name, associated property name inside of your string value. I want to thank you for joining me in this lecture. Have a nice day.